By now, many of you have been hearing or seeing the pictures of the 2022 Chevrolet Silverado ZR2, but there's a couple questions that remain. What exactly is a ZR2, and how does it differ from our current Chevrolet Trail Boss Silverado? Well, that is what we're going to talk about today. All right, so if you haven't already seen the pictures, the commercials with Chris Pratt and Chase Elliott uh, and Breland, all these kinds of things, there is a new truck, a new refresh truck on the horizon here for us here at Chevrolet, and that is the Chevrolet Silverado ZR2, one that we are very excited about. However, just because we're excited about it, just because there's lots of pictures and stuff out there, doesn't mean that you know exactly what the truck is and what it has, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. And along the way, what I wanna do is tell you exactly how this new ZR2 off-road truck from Chevrolet differs from our current Chevrolet Trail Boss Silverado. First and foremost, it is quite evident just by looking at the truck that it does have a more aggressive design even than our current Silverado Trail Boss does. And that starts right off the front where you're going to see it has a much more high cut up angle to it with a steel bumper. That is obviously for that is for obvious reasons for the off-roading aspect to it. Now, there's a couple reasons why they did this. First and foremost, obviously you're getting more protection there, right? It's raised up and you're getting the more you know more, more skid plates and that steel front bumper. But on top of that, you're also getting a better approach angle. The best approach angle of any uh, you know, Silverado that we have right now with a, a just over 31 degree angle. And it also has a pretty crazy um, departure angle as well. That is the back end of it of 23.3 inches and the best ground clearance right now of any Silverado that, that includes the Trail Boss. Uh, and that is 11.2 inches of, of, uh, of ground clearance right there. And on top of that, from what I've read, the current ZR2 is actually going to sit uh, a half an inch higher than our current trail boss. So they both have a two inch lift on it, but just the way it's configured, and I think that's coming due to the larger tire. So let's talk about that. It is gonna come with 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler territory tires, whereas it doesn't matter if you're in the 20s or the 18s, you're talking 32 inch tires when it comes to our current trail boss um, with the Goodyear Wrangler dirt tracks in the 18s, or again, they, they just have the territories uh, on the 20 inch wheel, but we are talking about a bigger tire on this ZR2. And getting back to the looks for a moment, let's talk not only, of course, about the front end, which, you know, again, looks looks different. I mean, the new, uh, by the way, the new Trail Boss is going to have a very similar front end in terms of the grille and the headlights, not the, uh, not you know, not the bumper, but it won't have the aggressive hood that the current ZR2 does with that kind of bulbous look to it on top of that black uh, feature on top. So that is also something different um, from the, you know, current uh, Trail Boss and also what's going to be coming for the 2022 Refresh Trail Boss as well. And unlike our current Trail Boss, the new ZR2 does have a more aggressive look due to the big fender flares off the side, which our current Trail Boss does not offer, nor will the new refresh version. And again, it's more for that off-roading look, but also for the protection, of course, off-roading as well, right? So the fender flares are something that's different as well. And inside that front grille, by the way, the grille of the ZR2, you are going to have an integrated camera. Now, this camera is going to allow for better vision when you're looking at those objects that are coming ahead of you, especially those lower objects that you might not, of course, be able to see over the hood. We've never had that in the Trail Boss before, and the new ZR2 is going to have that offering, and I don't believe our, our refresh trail boss will have that either so something again that's going to differentiate them and a really cool feature of the zr2 now to a couple of things that the zr2 has borrowed from our smaller zr2 the colorado zr2 and things that we don't have and won't have on the trail boss that we are going to have in the zr2 are number one the locking front and rear differentials which is going to give you so much more off-road capability right when you're able to, to really lock in that front and rear diff that is the one thing and again we've seen that on the smaller trucks but not on the bigger ones and we won't be seeing that on the trail boss the other massive major thing, of course, um, is the Multimatic DSSV uh, dampening, dampeners. Uh, this is, it is an incredible suspension. If you've ever had the opportunity to drive in a Colorado ZR2, what I love about it is you could be on the really rough terrain and you know it's it's handling it very well you could also be taking the kids to school and going down a normal road and it's not rattling the teeth out of your head as i've said before because it it basically reacts um in, in a softer suspension mode when you're when you're in a softer train and when you're getting into a harder train it, it stiffens up and that's part of the uh the spool dampers that this thing has it's it's incredible and again it's not something we're ever going to see or not something we're going to see or haven't seen of course on the trail boss it's only exclusive to the zr2 uh that's coming out um very soon 
We also can't forget about the awesome new feature, the one pedal drive. What a cool feature this is. It allows you to control the truck with just the one pedal. You don't need the brake because if, let's say if you're in four low, for example, and you're crawling around, you can take your foot off the brake and it'll actually bring the truck to a complete stop. So you're not having to go back and forth between the brake pedal and the gas pedal. And if we head inside, of course, there's some differences, but the main difference that you're going to see in the trail boss, uh, from the trail boss to the ZR2 is actually in, in regards to the seats, number one, because um, this is going to have a much more bolstered seat, almost wraps around you, a little more off-road looking, and a different leather. It's kind of got a little bit of a different design to it, uh, a two-tone leather with some design to it. Uh, you're going to obviously get leather, and you have gotten leather in the trail bosses in the past, but obviously it's just a normal leather, and it has the same seat as pretty much the rest of the lineup. This has a separate seat with that separate leather, so that's the one Thing. And of course, the one thing that would be different than a current trail boss in the ZR2 is some of the massive things that we've been talking about um, since its introduction a couple days ago. And the number one thing is that massive 13.4 inch color touchscreen with tons of Google integration in it. What a fantastic system that is. And if you're heading in front of the driver, if you look in front of that screen, it's over 12 inches uh, of programmable digital display in front of there. You didn't have that on the past uh, trail boss, but hold on with me for one second. I want to talk about one other thing and we're going to get back to the trail boss. The other thing I want to talk about, of course, is the center console shift the electric center console shift it's a really slick system we're going to see that in the new hummer we've already seen it in the escalades and things like that so it's not new to us uh but it's new to the truck i think it's an amazing new feature now those three things i mentioned the electric shifter the 13.4 inch color touchscreen and the 12 inch screen in front of you those things will be on the new 2022 refresh trail boss but again it does differ from the previous trail bosses so if you're looking at a 2022 limited or a 2021 trail boss that may be on a lot or you may have on order you won't get those things of course in that truck you would have to get into a refreshed uh, trail boss in order to get the screens and the shifter but the the interior uh, aside from that will be different in the zr2 so that's a quick rundown of all the amazing cool things that are making the new zr2 different well from anything else but especially different from our other off-road truck the trail boss or of course the trail boss custom which of course has way less features than even that so those are the differences what do you think are you gonna go with the trail boss or would you prefer a zr2 if money was no object i think i know which one obviously most of us would go for but in reality um, obviously we know that the trail boss, uh, pardon me, the ZR2 is going to come in above the trail boss. They're still making it. I think as I've already made that clear in this video, but the ZR2 will be of course more money. Is it worth it to you? Is that something you want or not? Or are you going to stick with the regular trail boss? Anyways, that's my video for today. As always, thanks so much for watching until next time. Take care.